Hi guys, welcome to another short video clip of uh, MrLopezClasses.com. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, the difference in between the DC negative boost bar and the AC ground boost bar. Both uh, boost bars are the same? No. At the end are connected in the same point, but they are different. And today we are going to analyze the difference between those boost bars, the negative in the DC panel and the ground in the AC panel. Okay guys, we are going to refresh quickly this, uh, this uh, board that I prepared for you. I, I have uh, in, in the left side uh, the AC, the AC panel, and uh, in the right side the DC panel. Okay. Uh, in the DC panel, uh, we have uh, the power coming from the batteries, the battery, the switch selector, enter in the main breaker, and after that in the small breakers. And uh, we are going to connect, in, in this particular example, a motor, a DC motor, that one, uh, connected with the positive coming from the breaker, the negative coming from the DC, negative boost bar, and the case of the motor is connected to the bonding conductor, the bonding conductor. Okay, this is, uh, this is the situation. And this is the negative boost bar, the DC negative boost bar on the DC panel. Okay, now we are going to check what happened in the AC panel. In the AC panel, uh, we have uh, the hot, the hot boost bar connected to the breakers and the neutral connected to the neutral boost bar and the AC ground boost bar in the bottom. That's different. Okay, both of them, both of them, the AC ground boost bar is connected to the bonding and the negative boost bar is connected to the bonding conductors and both of them finish into the sink in the ground. They are different. They are located in each panel but at the end they converge in the sink. We are going to refresh quick. In DC we have the red positive conductor, the, the black one, the negative, and we have the green is the grounding conductor to drain static electricity into the bonding, okay? This is in DC. Remember, the positive and the negative, the positive and the negative, both of them are current carrying conductors. Current carrying conductors. Of course, the negative is the grounded conductor and the positive is the ungrounded conductor. But uh, both of them are current carrying conductors. Oh, the green one connected to the bonding system is non-current carrying conductor. This is in DC side. In the AC side, we have hotline, neutral, and ground. The hotline and the neutral are current carrying conductors. The ground connected to the grounding is non-current carrying conductor. Okay, it's clear? Both bus bars are different. Mr. Lopez, I have a question. I have a battery charger or an inverter. The case of the battery charger, the case of the battery charger is, um, is metallic. Where should be connected that metallic case, the case of the charger or, or inverter? To the ground boost bar on the AC panel or to the negative boost bar in the DC panel? Okay, the answer, my recommendation is the metallic case of those equipment should be connected to the AC ground boost bar on the AC panel. That's okay. Finito. And, the, and that boost bar should be connected to the bonding according with the diagram that we have on the, on the board right now. Okay, that's the situation. Other common question is, Mr. Lopez, in terms of DC, the, the gauge, the diameter of the negative, the ground uh, cable, with respect to the diameter, the gauge of the positive, should be equal, the same, more or less. I recommend the negative a little bigger than the positive. Why? Let me explain why. Because suppose the engine, in the engine you have the main negative connected to the negative of the battery. That's correct? Okay. Or to the main negative boost bar located in the engine room. Okay, perfect. But that, how many grounds you have in a typical engine gas or diesel. You have a lot of grounds. You have a 
one ground in the harness, other ground in the control box, other ground from the computer. You have like four or five grounds. If you try to remove the harness of an engine, you have different grounds. Ah, those grounds return to that negative cable into the negative of the battery. For that reason, I recommend that cable a little bigger because in some cases receive a lot of returns. In my, my recommendation should be a little bigger. If it's equal, no problem. But uh, no less in order to avoid overheating on that cable. That's clear, that explanation about the, the, the DC negative bus bar and the AC ground bus bar. Both of them are different. However, at the end of the day, both of them both of them converge into the bonding system and they finish into the sink. 